Hello everyone, welcome to Elite with Desfocus.com YouTube channel. This is Henry and today is Thursday, September 22nd. Uh, the time is around 1.15 a.m. GMT. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at the chart of the NASDAQ. This is a 60 minutes chart right after the FOMC meeting. So let's see what we got here. So uh, according to the chart, we ended with B right here at 12.978 or so. So what that means then is we are currently within the select on the downside um, in the minor degree here and the select uh, subdivides into a five waves. We have ended one of C, two of C and makes a new low below one again. So we get a lower low sequence here. All right. And so now as long as the rally stays below this two here, 12.143, we should continue to go down. We're still in the process of ending this with one here. And it can continue to go down more than what we are showing here, right? We can continue to go down like this uh, as much as it wants to, right? But the idea here is uh, the right side is down. That means we are looking for, for the downside. And uh, if we can see any rally, uh, then that rally should be short-lived and should fail in three or seven swing for further downside. So let's zoom out a little bit to get an idea where we are. If we take a look at the four hour, this is the four hour. Uh, so let's uh, copy some of uh, the labels here. So the B here is right here, the same B that we see in the one hour chart. And then this one here is right here. And this is the two. Okay, which is the same with two that you see right here, right? <clears throat> so, so if this is the P, then obviously this is your A, <clears throat> right? I mean, you can just uh, backtrack, right? Backtrack the label. And so that means we are talking about the sequence or the cycle that started from this peak here, which is August 2022, right? August 17, 2022. So according to this cycle here, we have what looks like an ABC. Uh, we got, you can see, A, B, breaking below the A again. So it's a lower low, <coughs> right? And within the C, you got 1, 2, breaking below the 1. So this is telling you everything is in line for, for the downside. Let's see what the potential target on the downside is. Uh, if we just simply measure 1, 2 here. 100% is 10,948, right? That will be minimum because with 3 could be extending to 1.618 even. Now, if you measure it using the AB, okay, let's use the extension measurement using the AB here. Then you have a potential target on the downside to at least 11,168. Now, again, um, this is sort of the minimum from the C. But if this is truly a five waves and not a three waves, then uh, this potentially can go, because the C can go all the way to 11,168, all the way to 10,000, right? So it's a big area. And uh, the bottom line is regardless, you want to measure it this way, 100%, you want to measure it this way, 100%, it doesn't matter. Uh, bottom line is if all we care is the shorter cycle, then the rally should fail as long as this uh, you know level is holding 12.143 and should continue to go down and what about the minimum absolute minimum target the, we can use this one which is the higher end of the minimum target here 11.168 which is the C equal to the A doesn't mean it should reverse from here it can continue to go down but at least it should reach this area uh, in the shorter cycle alright so that's the update for today and as always if you want to get uh, regular updates on the US indices, stocks, ETF, uh, Forex, commodities. We do have 14 days trial. Uh, you can find the link in the description of the video. And I'll see you all again next time. Have a nice day everyone.